Mark DeCock is manager of the successful meat products company Charles, formerly called Cox Vlicerin. And it is fair to say that Mark's pigeon long-standing pigeon racing career has been a major success as well. We have seen many fanciers develop into champions. However, achieving long-lasting success is a different game entirely. And that is Mark's greatest feat. He amazed his fellow fanciers season after season with sensational results, which inevitably led to numerous championship titles as well. It all started with and thanks to his grandfather Charles, a genuine sprint fancier who claimed several first prizes. He used to focus on one particular pigeon, which excelled in the weekends with several first prizes, and which claimed some prize money as well. This is where Mark began to develop his own passion for pigeon racing. And it was with the help of his grandfather, who built his grandson's first pigeon loft, that Mark was able to get involved in the action. It was the start of a living legend. Mark raced together with his father Joseph in a highly successful combination from 1976 to 1998, thanks to a number of successful investments, top quality birds from Dokus, and Shellens Divan, and descendants of the loft of Jen Brokes. He also purchased the 167 of Marion Peters, and this was really a turning point in his career. He has been keeping pigeons in the brand Strits since 1999, and his first big star was De Crack, which comes from Marcel Dillon from Ranst. This talented pigeon had a phenomenal Pelmers, he was a ninth national ace pigeon KBDB long distance, and winner of a Gauden Oscar, and Gauden Ring in the Wasland region, in the extreme long distance. He was also a third provincial ace pigeon long distance KBDB, and he had a total of 14 first prizes to his name. Mark also obtained Rambo, another pigeon from Marcel Dillon's collection. This bird proved an excellent breeding bird. 1994 was the year in which Hat Canaan rose to the top, he claimed a first national burgs of 12,389 pigeons. And the team claimed another national first prize from Narbonne in 2000. Mark has competed in several international one-loft races as well. For instance, he was the car winner in two editions of the world-famous $1 million race in South Africa. And he managed to win the Olympiad race in Kopstad as well, in 2000. Mark has made a few spectacular investments over the course of his career as well. For instance, he purchased the entire pigeon family of the De Rauhu Sablon combination in 2002 together with his good friend Eric Limburg. But he was also eager to win an Olympiad title one day, and he won this long-awaited title in 2006 with the talented Special Man. This Special Man was an Olympiad winner in Dortmund in 2009. He was also a sixth national ace pigeon KBDB long distance 2008, and he took fourth place in the Golden Rings competition long distance 2008. He was also a first ace pigeon long distance in long distance club Locarin, and he won a 104th national Barcelona of 11,484 pigeons, as well as a 246th international St. Vincent of 7,515 pigeons. And there was also the phenomenal Nick, BE6414081. She won a 104th national Barcelona of 11,484 pigeons. Meanwhile, her sister Lean, BE8425-5148, claimed a first international Narbonne in 2010. During Eric Limborg's pigeon auction in 2009, Mark purchased the then most expensive pigeon ever in a public sale, Eagle Eye. This exceptionally gifted bird had won a title of fourth national ace pigeon KBDB long distance, and he was an Olympiad winner in the all-round category. And Mark had another national ace pigeon in 2015. Johan 275, BE 12431 3275, was a third national ace pigeon KBDB long distance. This champion was also a first provincial ace pigeon KBDB long distance 2015 and a first ace pigeon LCB long distance. He was also the best pigeon over five long distance races in the 2015 PIPA ranking and he is now the grandfather of a 7th place winner in the final of the Grand Prix Thailand and 2nd Ace Pigeon in the 2018 One Loft Special. And Mark had another Olympiad winner in his ranks in 2017 with Bold Eagle, BE 14406 
which also won a title of 13th National Ace Pigeon KBDB Long Distance Old Birds 2016. This pigeon also won a golden ring in the long distance category 2016, as well as a silver ring long distance in 2015. Bold Eagle is also the sire of several other top quality birds, such as 71117, winner of an 18th National Orillac of 3,886 pigeons, and 16517, winner of a 22nd National Chateau Roux of 5,209 pigeons. 2019 was in line with their 2018 season, with a total of 20 victories. One of these victories was a national first prize in the zone from Tall, besides a second place in the zone from Sulac. The icing on the cake was a title of 4th National Ace Pigeon Long Distance KBDB with double Remco, BE 18416 This talented pigeon also won a golden ring in the Wasland area, category Long Distance, in 2019. Double Remco won several prizes in 2018, as a young bird. Mark has already won more than 100 provincial first prizes. And let's not forget that he supplies other lofts with top quality pigeons as well. Take for instance Joe's phone, who has done really well with Kieran, which stems from the line of 801 Aylbricht. Kieran has already won 10 first prizes and a first national bride. The first floor of this highly prestigious pigeon loft consists of a 70-meter long home base for the old birds and youngsters. Beneath these racing lofts we have the breeding lofts, which span 40 meters. The remaining 30 meters are used as office space and workspace. On top of the racing lofts we have a large pointed roof. It promotes ventilation, providing plenty of fresh air. Each section has a 1.5-meter ventilation duct in front of and above the loft, to ensure air circulation. The lofts are equipped with floor heating, combined with a hygrometer, which serves to create a cozy atmosphere, while keeping the air dry at all times. The floor heating is used throughout the year. Every loft has an automatic conveyor belt to transport manure out of the loft, and the pigeons sit on wood gratings. Darkening can be set up automatically and there are automatic sun blinds as well, so that the windows can be left open day and night in the hot summer months. This loft has rigorous hygiene standards as well, and there is an central exhaust system that gets rid of any dust particles. There are several landing boards across the length of the loft, and there are 60 antennas, bricken, so that every single arrival gets properly registered. Final Selection the team initially consists of around 90 old birds and 1-year-olds, and about 30 of them, 30% will make it through. Pigeons are selected solely based on their results, and so they need to deliver at provincial and national level if they want to stay on board. All the youngsters that return home from their races will stay in the team. Selection does not start until the yearlings category. Mark is fond of pigeons that are average looking but have an intelligent appearance. He does not mind their eyes or throat. All that matters are their results. And wouldn't you agree that an ugly looking bird gets prettier the more successful it becomes? Close in breeding of sire cross daughter or dam cross son are used often to create new breeding birds for the future, although even more stringent selection criteria are used for this, because this approach can lead to many inferior birds. Mark's pigeon breed consists mainly of the lines of the Rau Sablin Aylbricht. Eagle Eye, Bold Eagle and Johan. And he also invested in Rockefeller just recently, a first national ace pigeon KBDB all round 2018. The team has every reason to be very ambitious for the upcoming season, in which they aim for the national championships, ace pigeon titles and perhaps a national first prize. Every season, Mark can count on the support of his caretakers Luke Bile and Andre Mudens. 2018 was an absolutely brilliant year for Rockefeller, BE 1749 43 40. Rockefeller won the title of first national ace pigeon KBDB all round in 2018. Thank you for watching. Until next time.